Hey there, in today's video I'm going to do, which is what I hope to be my last tie-dye sublimation shirt. <laughs> These are becoming a little too much fun for me. I was thinking about the Selena shirt as I was cleaning out my phone. And I got this bright idea, so I went ahead and turned the camera on. So let's get started. Okay, so same shirts as last time. This is the last one I only I had only purchased three originally. Again, I keep apologizing for the lighting. I'm blocking the window. So I don't know if anybody's noticed in my videos. I have I'm not uh, lint rolling them or uh, I don't I'm not pre-pressing either because I don't think for these it doesn't it doesn't matter. So because they're going to be wrinkled and everything. So. I am going to try something different. Again, this, this is a spur of the moment thing. Um, I'm going to try not to edit too much because I'm kind of winging it in the process. I trust myself <laughs> sometimes. I just need to figure out. I don't think I'm going to worry too much about the front at all. But I, I am going to worry about the front sleeve. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do my four finger mark. Make sure I'm recording. I dropped my phone in the process, so I did have to edit one part. Anyway, um, still gonna do the four fingers from the top. Um, I'm gonna cover the back sleeves because I have an idea for that, thanks to the Selena shirt. And I don't wanna burn myself. I think I'm gonna, the next press I get, even though I already have two, I have the 16 by 20, let me turn on the light. I have the 16 by 20 signature series and then storage, unfortunately. And then I have this one, 15 by 15, which nothing wrong with it. If you see all my videos lately, that's all I've been using. I don't wanna get the, uh, the uh, sleeves for nothing right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just kind of bunch it up. Don't want to get the back of the collar. Scrunch it up, bunch it up, whatever you want to call it. But uh, I'm not going to do the back again or on this one either. So I'm going to hide the back of the shirt. Temperature's not ready, so I'm gonna put you on pause. And again, I almost forgot my parchment paper. Let's get right there. And anyway, we're covering the front sleeve, the front of the sleeve again. Bring it in some, and I did move the camera. I know I said I wasn't going to do much editing, but I did move the camera up closer. Ooh, this thing is getting hot. I'm using two sheets, as you'll see in a minute. I cut one of them. I didn't really want to, but I did. No rhyme or reason to this. I had some extra pieces, so I'm going to use them. Okay, so there's 60 seconds. I'm going to put you on hold. Okay, we got uh, seven seconds left. And I'm waiting for another print. And I don't want to do too much editing. Ouch, it just came to hot. Ooh, 
was hot. Ouch. Bear with me. Okay, I didn't get the sleeve, which is what I was trying not to do, so good deal there. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. And I'm doing the wrong side. Okay, so I'm getting the front of the sleeve. I'll put it on the platen. I'm gonna get this off of the get this off the press. So what I did is I got a eight and a half by eleven sheet, cut it in half. It doesn't have to be perfect, actually. I should have put it another sheet. What I should have done. I thought this was good because it was eight and a half for a small shirt. I'm gonna do it like that. I'm gonna do it at an angle with the shirt because it's supposed to be a tie dye effect. It doesn't matter. So I'm gonna use two sheets, sixty seconds. Whoa, I need more pressure, and my other print is almost ready. I'm going to put you on hold. So we got about five seconds left. The next print I'll do will be a sleeve print, an actual sleeve print. Ouch, we'll do the other one. Just trying to do something different with these tie-dye sublimation shirts. Yeah, the next one I'll definitely have to do a uh, definitely have to do something different. I'm not you oh crap, I better use something on the bottom. Yeah, the next shirt or to give you ideas, I would use a uh, I guess a sleeve print. Again, I'm just doing going at an angle with the sleeve. My other print is ready. 60 seconds. Put it on pause. Okay, we got about four seconds. It would look cool to do the back, but I'm only doing front prints, so and experimenting at the same time. To be different okay so now for the front actually I don't know if I want this roll with the wind with the heat Because, because I used up more colors here, I think I'm going, uh, I don't know if I want this full. I'm going to cut this. I'm going to be different. I'm going to cut this just to be different. This is a Juneteenth shirt. The white edges don't matter. I don't really want the white edges there. I'm just gonna, I'm getting rid of some of them. Some of the edge effect, I guess you could say. In other words, I don't want it to look too square. So, like I said, I'm going to wing it. <laughs> Try not to edit too much either. So. I 
wasn't kidding. Anyway, so let's see how it comes out. So we're gonna do four fingers is right there by the green. The center, this is a Juneteenth shirt. More parchment paper. I was gonna use black in here, on here, but because there was a lot of white, um, I was gonna experiment with just leaving, doing the sleeves black. So we'll see how it comes out. So give me about 45 seconds. Okay, we got about five seconds left. Turn this off. My table is shaky. Okay, so I'm gonna move it over to the uh, other table and I'll show you the final results. And here's the final. Here you'll see a little bit of uh, ghosting. That's because of the previous image. There's the sleeve. Not too bad. It's the only thing I got on the back. That's it. That is the final. This is again my Juneteenth shirt. I might do a giveaway. Um, <clears throat> we'll see. I hope this inspires you to get creative or to at least try this tie dye sublimation. That's all I have for now. Until next time.